Welcome back. If you just joined us, we've been looking at the Nigerian economy and the fate of the Nigerian worker due to the demand for the 56,000 naira minimum wage. Can this demand be realized? Is the federal government sincere and committed to the economic recovery and growth plan? And our guest on this episode of Question Time is the NLC president, Comrade Ayuba Waba. Join us again. In 2015, you demanded for 56,000 naira minimum wage. It was not granted. In 2016, you demanded for 56,000 naira minimum wage. It wasn't granted. And now you're still on that same track, that, demanding that, uh, for 56,000 naira minimum wage. This is a legitimate demand, which I think, with all intent and purposes, all the social partners have seen reason and justification for this demand. If today a bag of rice is going for more than 15,000 naira, and the minimum wage is 18,000, is that not justifiable enough? So we have justified all reasons, and it has to follow those procedures. And the procedure is that first, that negotiating team to bring on board all social partners, including those representing the interests of the state governors and the organized private sector must come to the table because we can also, because we are in a hurry, do the wrong thing and not get the results. Because what we want is after it's been achieved through the law, we must be able, also be able to implement it. And it has been so. All through history, no employer of labor will willingly increase your pay. It has been through demand from the 1860s, 1880s, 1860s, when we first started agitation for eight-hour work per day. It has been so. Nothing had been given to workers on the platter of gold. There are questions bordering on the capacity of the NLC to serve the best interests of Nigerians. Having led Nigerians to down tools, a lot, of, a lot of workers are still sulking. They are still sulking their wounds. They are still nursing their wounds. They have been victimized. Some of them laid off work. Well, all through history, if you look at history, NLC have always stood on the side of the workers. I gave you an example of the last fuel price increase. Once we are convinced and our structures take decision, we must conform by those decisions. We exist because we need to protect the interests of those workers. And as I said earlier, no employer of labor will willingly accede to demand of workers without the necessary pressure being put in place. And the issue of the minimum wage is not only about even NLC, it's organized labor. Because that's why we have carefully tried to make sure that whatever we even submitted as NLC, we're able to carry all our other uh, partners, uh, particularly TUC, uh, in the arrangement. And that's why it's a demand by organized labor. So for us, it's a mandate that actually must be achieved because of the fact that this is core uh, to the workers' interests. And uh, therefore, NLC is very committed. Uh, I can also say that uh, organized labor, uh, including our partners, TUC, are very committed. And I've not had uh, the employer saying that these demands are not legitimate. You have made a clear statement and a clear declaration that government should be able to pay 56,000 naira minimum wage. And I'm sure that you've, you've done your findings and, you've, and this must have been based on economic facts. Now, how long will it take for Nigerians to enjoy this long distance dream of 56,000 naira minimum wage, which is, which according to you, it's not, it's still not even enough. Minimum wage is not only about government, it's all employers of labor. All of them need to also be brought to the table. We advance our argument, we advance our facts, and try to convince them, have a consensus, and have a collective bargaining agreement. This is the time-tested procedure of achieving the minimum wage all through history. And therefore, it's the same procedure we're applying. The fact is very obvious. The workers have been pushed to the wall. Most of them cannot actually pay for their bills. So this is the situation we are. And therefore, it is something that is legitimate. We and workers are being now being pushed to the wall because it's also taking longer than necessary. But we also understand the context because the situations are different. In your statements, you acknowledge and admitted that this has taken longer than necessary. Yeah. Is this a failure on the part of the NLC? All parties are committed to the fact that this is a legitimate demand. We must also carry our partners and social partners in, play, uh, in, in the whole uh, process. 
So that's where we are. And therefore, I think legitimately, those demands, none of the parties have said that those demands are not legitimate. As usual, the employer will try to draw, draw, drag his feet. Same with other state governments, which we are trying to defend. You say state governors say they cannot pay. That's not, I think, something that can be advanced because legitimately, all of them are collecting the same salary. Some of them serve for only four, eight years and they're able to pay severance to themselves over and above what workers that have served for 35 years are being paid.